Good afternoon, from Gala here. Yeah, my hair. I got a mix up because I was seeing my hair in the video. Anyway, from Gala here, and I'm gonna make my homemade salsa. salsa. That's like the restaurant style. I just add in a few other ingredients that to my liking, and when you get my recipe, you can add the herbs and the stuff you wanna, or you can exclude what I'm using. So anyway, we're gonna um, use a 20, 28 ounce can of whole tomato. It could be a name brand, store brand, don't matter. So it comes out the same. I'll put that aside for now. Uh, I, once in a while, I don't always put it, but I'm gonna this time I'm gonna put vinegar. That's about uh, two and a half tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons. Okay, my brother gets mad because he says, "Don't add so much garlic." Well, this is my recipe of pea monster make it. Cut back on the garlic because you'll fight away vampires if you use a so if you want to use less garlic but for diabetics you know since we're prone to getting heart attacks i was told by my doctor that's why i have to be on baby aspirin and take one every night so that's that then i put in i like, grew up eating uh brown onion but you can put the onion that you like I just like uh, brown onion, but I do both onions uh, brown, and I also do uh, green onion. And if you can find it, pre chop for you, because sometimes, you know, if you have arthritis or diabetes or problems like carpal tunnel, you know, your hands get weak and uh, tired, so you can't really chop and dice things. But I usually do it when I'm feeling okay. That's the reason why I haven't been filming some shows because my sight is affected right now with my diabetes. These are, you can use whatever chili you want. This is called um, chili de abo, which is a chili of the tree. And I'm using 30 of them. Usually I use 40 because me and my brother like it pretty spicy seeds and all, you just take off the stem. And then it consists of uh, oregano. And everything is, like I said, matter of taste. If you like it strong with oregano. Oh, this is an open, so let me get the Um, pepper and just a few, you know, you don't want it to be, you want it good, you don't want the pepper to overpower. Yeah. Some onion powder. Like I said, I love onion and I love garlic. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I don't want to spill it all over the place. Uh, not too much uh, salt. This is uh, sea salt because the tomatoes has a lot of salt. So actually, I shouldn't have put none. And I don't have uh, fresh cilantro. I really don't care for the taste of it. But uh, you add a little bit in there also. Like I said, matter of taste. And then also. About this is a I think a nine ounce glass so uh, or I'm sorry a ten ounce glass so put about uh, three inches four inches of water and you put on the top of course and you blend it up on the with the blender for about three to five minutes, so 
all incorporates and stuff like that. And I'll be right back. I'm going to stop the blender now. First, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it, but I think someone's calling or sending me a text. That's why it's fading in and out. And what I just put it in is an old plastic uh, mayonnaise jar, the remaining of the sauce, and today's date. That I made it today, obviously. And what you do is get a bowl of corn chips. They're already salted, so. What I usually like to do is warm them in the microwave for like half a, half a minute and then just get the sauce, you know, and just spoon it over chips, corn chips, or you can make flour chips or get spinach wraps, it's good on that too, and put them in the oven and kind of get them hard for a while. Of course, it would look better if I had the fresh cilantro. Then, well, you know how to eat chips with hot sauce, salsa. Pretty good. And there you go. And it also tastes good on fish, chicken, uh, meats soups, whatever, french fries, whatever you want to top your food with. Pretty good. Even in a, I've done it on a stuffed baked potato. Well, I mean, I'll put um, the margarine, season the potato, and uh, put um, uh, the sauce and then some cheese. Put it in the microwave for a minute or two until the cheese melts in. Got a good dish right there. A snack to hold you over till dinner is made or whatever you want to make. Okay, this is from Gali, and I'll be back after a while to uh, record, my, record my dinner show. Okay, thanks. See you all later. Bye.